On this week's boiler tip, we want to answer a question um, that we got online about whether or not a flash tank or blowdown separator is required for high pressure boilers. And the answer is yes. Um, a lot of municipalities, a lot of states require a flash or blowdown separator for bottom blowdown. There are a couple reasons for that. Um, first, we want to discharge it to a safe location. Um, if we hard pipe the blowdown directly into a drain, what we're going to do is have a, a large volume of flash steam present in the drain, and if that's tied to other parts of the building, we could end up with steam places that we don't want them. A second reason that we want to use uh, a designated blowdown separator tank is because it has a cooling water function. Um, when we do our blowdown, we want to make sure that our cooling water valves are open and that our automatic valves are working properly because if we discharge water to a city sewer above a certain temperature, 140 degrees typically, um, we can actually kill the bacteria in the wastewater treatment plant and that's very expensive. Now, there are some industrial sites that have their own wastewater treatment facilities and they have their own blowdown pits. So while we might not have a separator in the boiler room proper, we may have that mechanical function being performed in the system that's there. It's just really important that we comply with local jurisdictions because there are consequences. And we've definitely seen some melted PVC piping in the floor as a result of somebody not having the cooling water on. So check it out and do your research.